Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to be looking at an Alfred workflow that I discovered around a month ago and I think I've used it almost every day since. It's called Calculate Anything and whilst that's a pretty bold title, it's actually very close to the truth. There's a lot that it can do. Now, first of all, I'm going to assume a little bit of working knowledge of Alfred and how it works for this video. Now, we covered the app a lot on Screencast Online over the years. In fact, a search here for Alfred videos shows 15 in total, but we've dipped into it with tip videos like this over the last few years. I did a bigger video just over three years ago, which covered the new features of the previous version. That was version four. And then Mike ran through some of his favorite workflows all the way back in 2017. However, these videos are still current because the base functionality of Alfred has stayed very steady. And if you want more Alfred knowledge, I suggest checking these out. Then to download Alfred, just go to alfredapp.com here where you can use the app for free or you can make the most of extra features by purchasing a power pack. And there are several purchase options there. But here we're going to be taking a look at this specific workflow, Calculate Anything. So let's find it first. I'm going to do a standard search for Calculate Anything Alfred here. And this top result is the one that we want and it takes us to the GitHub page for this project. I can see information on how to use it and what it looks like. So Calculate Anything is great because it uses natural language inputs, which is no mean feat with a launcher utility. You can calculate currency conversions, you can do cryptocurrency, weights, measurements, you can calculate date ranges and more. And we're going to look at most of those here. Now, usually when you download one of these workflows, you download a package file, which you then extract and install it into Alfred. Now, this one is the first one that I've seen, which makes use of the new Alfred workflow gallery. And the link to that is here. Now we're taken to the Alfred gallery and we can see at the top it's in early access at the moment. And it says that there are squillions more workflows coming soon, which is an awful lot. But I love the idea of having one central gallery to be able to download my Alfred workflows. It says that the workflow requires PHP, which I do have already installed on here. And below that, it says that if you don't have it, Alfred can help you install it, which I will show you because I had to learn that for myself. Now we can download the file or install it directly to Alfred. So I'm going to click install here, then click allow. And this is the little window that appears when you download from the new gallery. And everything seems to have downloaded OK. So I'll click continue. And here we have a configuration screen for Calculate Anything. It's definitely, I think, the most detailed config screen that I've seen with Alfred. And that just goes to show exactly how much you can do with it. So first, let's change the category at the top here. I'm going to make this productivity. I'll keep the language as English. And then you can change the input decimal separator from a dot to a comma here. I'm going to keep it as a dot. Then you can change the output number format. Now, time zone, I definitely want to change. And these are structured here a little bit differently to what I'm used to. I need to press E to go to Europe. And then for me, I'm going to scroll to London. Now, when working with currency, you can determine how many decimals you want to display. And then below that, you can set your base currencies. Now, this is important because when you type in a currency to convert, the base currencies that you specify here will automatically be calculated for you. So I'll add pound sterling here and euros which means that if I type in 20 US dollars into Alfred, it will tell me the pound and euro conversions by default. Next, you can put in an API key to automatically connect you to fixer.io, which is a currency conversion service. It's not needed though, and I don't have an account there, so that's not something that I've set up. And then below that, you can specify how often currency rates will update. It's every 12 hours by default, but you can reduce that number if you want to have it updated more often. Now, the coin market API key is something that you're going to need if you want to do any calculations for cryptocurrencies. And I will show you how to set that up. And then again, 12 hours is the default time for keeping those current cryptocurrency rates up to date. Now, right near the bottom here, you can enter your VAT percentage for your country. So mine is 20% here. Then you can specify a format for how dates are presented. And there's a couple more options near the bottom. And on the right, if you want it, there's a walkthrough of how to use this workflow. But I'm going to click install now. And as quick as that, the workflow is in. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive 
full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.